Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero. We are back again talking about a new report regarding Dragon Age the Veil Guard heavily implies the game is pornographic. Let's get into it from here, from the that park place written by John of Trent. A new report heavily implies that the upcoming Bioware game, Dragon Age the Veil Guard, is pornographic. Game Informer's Wesley LeBlanc reports during a playtest of the game's character creator, he was able to adjust a female character's bust size while viewing her in a spicy way. LeBlanc reported, quote, We were customizing a feminine rook and while adjusting body options, our rook shirt disappeared to let us customize things like chest size. From there, LeBlanc reported that the game's game director, a man who pretends to be a woman and calls himself Corinne Bush, smiled, likely knowing full well that being naked in the character creator means being naked everywhere else in the game, like in Vilgard's romances. As for whether players will be exposed to genitalia, LeBlanc detailed, quote, I'm told that something's, something Bioware wants to let fans discover for themselves in the game. Bush told him this is a mature RPG, similar to a Baldur's Gate 3, which is, this game is not going to be anything like a Baldur's Gate 3. Bush previously in Form, previously informed IGN that there will be spicy scenes in the game heavily implying the inclusion of pornography. While discussing how the game's companions will interact with the player character, Bush dis uh, detailed, quote, their past experiences or partners, they'll reference them and indeed who they'll become romantic with. He continued, quote, for instance, we saw Harding. I might be playing a straight male character flirting with her, but I choose not to pursue a romance. She might get together with Tosh, so my perception and my identity has no bearing on their identities, and that comes through really strongly. Now, if I remember correctly, they said every character in this game is going to be quote-unquote pansexual, so everybody can sleep with everybody, I guess. It's not until the later parts of the game where you really commit to romance, and it gets pretty spicy, Boosh shared. He then confirmed that the game features spicy scenes. IGN's Alex Stedman wrote, Of course, Dragon Age The Veil Guard is a Bioware game, and games from the studio, specifically those in the Mass Effect and Dragon Age series, are known to have some fairly explicit spicy scenes. Boosh confirms that The Veil Guard will be no different, particularly towards the end of the game. Boosh noted, Of course, we are an M-rated game. We do have this type of content. He elaborated our campaigns. We want them to be relatable and fully realized so they can get spicy, but in a way that I think people will actually relate to. Mm, considering it's a fantasy game, I don't think that makes any sense. Some of them are more spicy than others, just like real life. Our companions have such diverse personalities. Some of them are more physical, more aggressive, and some of them are more... We have a gentleman necromancer, for instance, that is more intimate and sensual, he concluded. Pornography is wrong, and trying to spread it to a general audience is evil. The catechism... The catechism... The catechism, however you say it, of the Catholic Church states, The political community has a duty to honor the family, to assist it, and to ensure especially the protection of security and health, especially when res with respect to the dangers of drugs, pornography, alcoholism, etc. It also details that pornography is wrong because, quote, it offends against chastity because it perverts the con conjugal act, the intimate giving of spouses to each other. It does grave injury to the dignity of its participants since each one becomes an object of base pleasure and illicit profit for others. It immerses all who involve in the illusion of a fantasy world. It is a grave offense civil authorities should prevent the production and distribution of pornographic materials uh i, I always hate when i do this in order to combat this degeneracy flint shares god's grace surely but also setting better examples and living the christian ethic fully uh, of course this is john's take on this type of stuff because he is a christian man if i'm not mistaken but me personally i don't really care to delve dive you know dive deep into it i really just want to know about the fact that they want to put you know push this type of content but then again it is an m-rated game so i feel like it's you're able to be more loose with the type of stuff because you know children aren't going to be playing this game essentially but i still think it's a little weird that they would push this as being some kind of big thing as if baldur's gate 3 and other games haven't already done this before like it's a whole new thing but you know i digress I, like i said i believe this game should freely have this stuff i mean you have we have games like gta so i mean would you really expect from an m-rated game like they like they've said you know thank you all for checking out this quick video i really do appreciate all the new subscribers returning subscribers new viewers and returning viewers if you do like this video hit that like button comment below if you feel about all of this are you going to be picking up dragon age the veil guard let me know in the comments down below Subscribe for more content, hit the bell for notifications, set the bell to all, that way you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video or live stream, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.